Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you so much for joining me once again. I pray that your life will not remain the same. Those of you who are viewing me on TikTok, those of you who are on Facebook and on YouTube, it has been um, a a marvelous time since we started last year, right about, you know, this time somewhere in January. And um, God has been faithful to us and we are still pressing on. Amen. We are still pressing on. Um, Trusting God that he will grant us grace to finish 2024 in victory. Um, Making impact in life and fulfilling purpose. Am I making sense to you? So if you are here connected with me on Facebook and on YouTube, um, though I may not be able to see you on Facebook or YouTube, but here on TikTok, I'm, I'm able to actually see you on here can you just share the stream share it to a friend a family a loved one just share it share it share it share it just share it continue to share it um one of the things that i want us to you know pay attention to is the prophecies that god gives to us um recently maybe somewhere in january a sister daughter of mine, a friend, called me early in the early hours of the day and we were having a conversation and she told me that, listen, I have a testimony to share with you. I was like, okay, what's going on? And she told me that you said something to me in lines of a prophecy that I did not know how it was going to come to pass because at that time I was like, okay, if you say it, But now, I am seeing that prophetic word manifesting in my life. And it's amazing how God brings these things together. I'm just, I just felt like I wanted to share with you. I was like, wow. And this prophecy that this young woman is talking about dates all the way to 2017. 2017. How many years now? 2017. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. If I'm not mistaken, seven years. Seven. Seven years. That word came out and they are seeing that word made manifested in their lives. Listen, brothers and sisters, let us not downplay prophetic words that God gives us. You may receive a prophetic word today eh, thinking that it's going to come today. Maybe the date apportioned for that word is in seven years. But as you have received that word, there are things that you must do. You must make sure that your walk with the Lord eh, is enhanced. You are pursuing him day in and day out. You are constantly putting him to remembrance of those words. The same prophetic word you are supposed to use that to contend for the faith. Am I making sense? And the same prophetic word you are to brood over it in prayer. You are to pray and pray and pray and give him no rest until he fulfills his word. A a, a clear example is when the prophet Elijah received the word of the Lord that there was going to be rain. And then he got a confirmation by hearing the sound of of rain. But he did not just declare the word and left it as such. He did not just give an instruction and left it as such. But he went onto Mount Carmel as a typology of the presence of the Lord. And I want to say also a typology of our closet because see, in our closet, that is where we are very most intimate. Am I making sense? And then he began to pray. And then he prayed. And then he prayed. He prayed for six times until the seventh, he saw a manifestation. And then he said, the time has come. Let us go. 
The Bible says that the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much. I don't know if I am making sense to someone, but I need you to understand that the prophetic word that comes upon you, God himself know how he is going to bring it to pass. It is not for you to figure it out. But your responsibility is to maintain righteousness, pursue him, pursue the kingdom of God, among the key sense, and pray these words come to pass. And at the right and appointed time of the Lord, it will manifest. Am I making sense? It will what? It will manifest. Many of us, we are seriously trying to figure ways and means to bring the word of the Lord to pass. The fact that you have received the prophetic ma- word that you are going to get married does not mean that you are you go and look at every Tom, Dick and Harry to figure out if he is your husband or not your husband. It does not also certainly mean that every proposal that comes your way, you accept it. It does also mean that you go to the clubhouses and you go to parties because there is a a common misconception that if you don't go out, how are you going to meet this person? If you don't go out on a date, how are you going to meet this person? So because of these things, many people have made a shipwreck of their lives. Why? Because you are trying to figure out how the word of the Lord will come to pass. Let me give you a clear example. See, Isaac had never seen Rebekah. And Rebecca did not even know anything about Isaac. But she all Rebecca knew was she was doing the work that has been given to her by her father. And she was tending the sheep, the flock of, his, of her father. Can I be bold and tell you this? That Rebecca was working in assignment. Rebecca was working in purpose. Rebecca was doing that which had been entrusted unto her. And when she was obedient to the what? To the instructions given to her by her father. Am I making sense to you? The, the Bible says that when Rebecca went to fulfill her duty, that is when she met her destiny helper. That connected her to the husband. Am I making sense to you? So instead of you trying to figure out what to do and how to do it and what to go and all that, you just need to focus on what God has given to you. And decide to walk with the Lord. Am I making sense? And, and it's, it's one example. Amen? I had a testimony today. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. For those that come late, I'm sorry, but today things are being done a little bit different. I had a testimony today whilst I was on TikTok. Usually I go to TikTok to look at videos, but also to get inspiration, to hear snippets of preaching and, and also the word of the Lord. I had a testimony today by, you know, Bishop James Sarr. And he said that there was this one guy that was in the church. And this guy, after 21 days fasting and prayer, the guy's car, he had a car that he was using, but the car broke down. It was not that of a solid car, but the the guy had a degree. So the guy now decided to use, you know, taxi. In our local, we have grades. You know how you have the... Uber XL, you have the Uber L and then the Uber X, whatever it is that they have. So the lowest grade of taxis, this guy decided that he was going to what? He was going to get on it and go to where he was going. The moment he got on that taxi, eh, he met a, a, a gray beard headed man. And then the man, after maybe 30, 60 seconds of, you know, riding in a taxi with this man, The man asked him, do you want to go abroad? And then he said, yes. And then the man told him that tomorrow, meet me at this location. So he called his pastor and then spoke to his pastor about it. And the pastor said, go ahead. So he went and met this man. By the time he got there, the man was already there under a tree waiting for him. And the man said, follow me. So he followed him went 
to the highest office of the Ministry of Education to inquire of a scholarship that had even ended. And the man said, open this scholarship and give this scholarship to this young man. He is my boy. Listen, brothers and sisters, they gave him, they reopened it to the highest, highest ranking officer. They opened it, gave it to the boy. He went through the application. This man followed him to make sure that everything was granted unto him. Now, this guy received his visa and everything that he needed to travel abroad for what? For education. Now, listen to this. After consultation with his pastor, he wanted to call the man to thank him for everything that he has done. He called the man's number several times and it wasn't going through. Tried to go to Cape Coast to try to locate the man, did not find him. And then he called the telephone company to find out who the, who, who the number was issued to. Lo and behold, he calls MTN and MTN tells him that ever since they have been in Ghana, they have never issued a number like that to anybody. So the question is, who is that man? Who is that man? Listen, the power of God is at work. The kingdom of God is full of mysteries. If we can learn how to depend on God, if we can learn how to trust Him, if we can learn how to be how to allow Him to lead us, He Himself will bring us to the destination that He has appointed for us. Listen, 2024. I, 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 like I keep saying, I don't want you to make a shipwreck of your life. The Bible says that. He knows the plans that he has for us. They are good and not evil to bring us to an expected end. He knows the plans that he has for us. God knows. God knows. Say it to yourself. God knows. Say it to yourself. God knows. He knows. He knows. Say it. Even before you thought he knew what you were going to think. Listen. Say it to yourself until you believe. God knows. God knows. God knows. He knows. He knows. Stop trying to figure it out by your own. Learn how to depend on Adonai. Learn how to depend on Elohim. Learn how to depend on Jehovah. Learn how to depend on him. After 21 days prayer and fasting, this guy receives a scholarship he did not apply for. A scholarship he did not apply for. They paid everything room and board, gave him money for him to go and further his education and come back. My God is. Brothers and sisters, this is the God that we share. He is able to do exceeding abundantly above what we think or even ask. I'm not making sense to you. Do not downplay the place of prophecy in your life. Don't. Pray. That's the why the Bible says that. Pray without what? Season. I will share one testimony with you. And then we go into prayer. I remember that there were some discrepancies on my documentation in this land of America. So, my father had passed Two years, I went to Ghana, did the funeral and everything, came back. And then, two, I think two, 2009, I had to go back again to sort some things. But there were still some discrepancies around the documentation. So, uh, um, I think it was, yeah, some discre discrepancies around the documentation. So, so I went to the, the immigration office. I went, they gave me a stamp. I went back home. Before I went back home, they had sent me a letter of confirmation of congratulations 
all right so everything was in order and everything was being approved so i went back home and when i was coming back at ghana immigration they said to me that we are not going to let you go because you need to provide for us a green car i said ah are you sleeping this stamp is equivalent to a green card so you, you you don't have a choice but you have to let me go the guy looked at me and said listen i'm going to go to my supervisor and talk to my supervisor i immediately launched forth into prayer and i began to pray and what i said is this lord you said that my destiny is in america that is all i said because I had received a prophetic word that my destiny was in America. And it is America that I've lived for over 10 years before coming back home. So you are not going to detain me here. So I reminded the Lord of his word concerning my life. And I was praying in tongues. The, the, the supervisor of the security, immigration officer, looked at my passport, looked at my face three times and said, let him go. As if that was all, I passed through Ghana immigration, got on the flight, and I, I felt sick. I, I could feel like there was malaria in my system. I felt completely sick. I got to JFK, came down, going through immigration, and then they took my passport, looked at my passport, put it in a, a red folder, gave it to me and said, told me to go to another immigration office. When I got there, the guy looked at my passport, typed in the information and then looked at me and said, listen, we cannot let you back in. I said, what do you mean by you cannot let me back in? He said that there is deportation on you. How? How is that deportation on me? He said, listen, there is deportation on We cannot let you. I said, ah, listen, this is a letter signed by a judge that states that I have a 10-year green card. I had an urgent business that I needed to attend to. So I could not wait for them to mail it, so I left by consultation. But yes, so he took the letter, he looked at the letter, and then he looked at the signature, and then he tried to confirm it and authenticate it. But he, he was sat there and he just looked at my face. And then immediately, I started praying. I said, God, you said that my destiny is in America. And that is where you have called me to do ministry. So, Father, I decree and declare that I am in the land of my promise. And I kept praying in the Holy Ghost. Kept praying in the Holy Ghost. Kept praying in the Holy Ghost. That immigration person looked at me look at the passport, look at the letter, look at me, look at the passport, look at the letter, and I was just praying in the Holy Ghost in my head, and I was just looking at him whilst I was praying, and he took his stamp, and he stamped my passport twice, and typed some things in the, in, in the system, he looked at the passport, closed it, gave it to me, said, go and get your stuff and go. Listen, brothers and sisters, do not downplay the place of prophecy especially those things that god has said concerning your life that is why paul said war with your prophecies war with them war with them pray with them there are so many things that i can say but i'll pause here for now and then we pray i don't know what you may be going through maybe life may seem as if it is delayed. The marriage may seem as if it is delayed. The promotion may seem as if it is delayed. The childbearing may seem as if it is delayed. Things may seem delayed in your life. But I am here to declare unto you that God is not a man that he should lie. He only wants to see if you are going to remain faithful unto death. You're going to remain faithful. Am I, am I making sense to you? Hello? So today we are praying. And all the prayers I want us to pray is to pray in the Holy Ghost. 
That's why I've been talking to all this, this one. All we are praying is you are going to pray in the Holy Ghost. And as you are praying in the Holy Ghost, eh? if the Holy Ghost should bring to your remembrance of a prophetic word that the Lord has declared concerning your life, my brother, my sister, repeat what he brought into your remembrance and pray with it. As we are praying, there, there is this thing that the Lord wants me to share, so I'm going to share it. We're having a, we were having a prayer service. And a sister of mine, I won't mention their name, but when I, when I talk about it, they will know. It's a, it's a very good thing. You know, um, she's been trying to pass her board for some time. And it's not like she's lazy. She studies. She Praise, she studies, she prays, she studies, she prays. But anytime she writes the test, then she she fails. She sown seeds. We've prayed. But she, she, she said, Listen, you don't understand. I am not giving up. So in the prayer meeting, we we're praying, 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 praying. And the Lord said, Pray for her. So I prayed with her and I declared something over her life. In a prayer. After the prayer, I was questioning myself, hey, you, pa, are you there? Oh, 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 you, are you sure of what you said? Because it, it may not come to pass. Oh. <laughs> you don't know the battles we go through, but we go through the battles. So I was like, God, you are God. Do whatever you want to do. I think the following week or something, they went to take the test and she did not pass it. So it, it looked as if that the word that was declared concerning their lives did not come to pass. She kept praying. She kept studying. She kept going for the test and failed. Kept praying. Kept studying. Kept praying. Kept studying. And then recently as I was talking to her, she said that, listen, you said something in your prayer meetings. You said that in the word of the Lord Isaiah, they that mention the name of the Lord, keep not silent. Give him no rest until he makes you a praise. Give him no rest. So I've taken that scripture and I decided I will not give him rest. So I am studying and I am praying. I've blocked everybody. I am praying and I am studying. She calls me in joy, screaming. He said, listen, I took the test yesterday. This morning, I checked and it is there. I made it. I made it. I made it. So happy. Everybody is rejoicing with her. Imagine she gave up. Abraham received a prophetic word for 25 years until it came to pass. When she tried, when he tried to help God, Look at what the sons of the bond woman are doing now in this world. You cannot help God fulfill his word. But the only thing you can do is to position yourself to receive it. He says, though it may tarry, but it will surely come to pass. He will listen to they that call upon him day and night, especially his chosen vessels. I want you to lift up your voice and begin to pray. Zevane brando skefalia da babaya. Zende bako sefeleko. Shede brande mene. God bless you all for the gifts. God bless you for the sharing. God bless you for the likes. God bless you for the comments. God bless you. God bless you. Lift up your voice and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. For the next 30 minutes, we are praying in the Holy Ghost. Le vene mado se reveya. Raka panda bada brado zala bada bada baba se vende le baso. I vene mado ske fanda brado zala va. Jende so fanda revado se ve. I man konto ske fanda bele brado zala va. I le bada brado zavanta la bada va. Yanda brado zavanta la brada zavanta la bakapa. I vende bele brado se vende mende brado zavanta. 
biadusa yamendo zala vakushere reveni biadusa lava ya balabra na bana baba isavante bela bendo zava reveke pandi biya daba imante lava dusa reveni pandusa reve ya kapanda bala baba ado zave ravante bala baba imante bela bendo zava ya imante bela bendo zava ravante bala baba imante bela bendo zava ya kapanda baba Evantos the fair, the Apantos the Fanyatos, the Avante the Matosha, the Vente Melebecosa, the Revenne Mecosofondo, the Revenne Paliodosa, the Paliodosa, the Revetosha, the Vente Melebeha, the Venini Acusere, the Revendo Losa, the Ravaniatas, the Vente Malaya, the Rabanabana, the Babanaba Capandi, the Yatandosa, the Abrani, the Yandosa, the Revendi, the Revendi. Ya dosa vaya, reveni bidi ya dosa vranda ba, ivele brando zeva, ya manda ba da ba, rava da ba, ivele konse vene bele ba, iva dosa ridi bidi ya dosa rava bidi ya dosa anta, iva bidi ya dosa reve, iko ba da ba da ba, ya manda brada ba da ba brada ba da ba brada ba da ba da ba brada ba ba da ba brada ba ha. In the name of Jesus, kapande bele se, we are praying, people of God. Now I want you, just as the Bible says, Paul told Timothy that those prophecies that has gone forth concerning you, war with them. I want you right now to begin to pray with your prophecies right now. Any prophetic word that the Lord has released into your heart, into your life, begin to pray. Put him in remembrance and keep not silent until God makes you a praise, until his word comes to pass in your life. Lift up your voice. The Bible says, for God is not a man that he should lie. Now, see, God had already blessed the people of Israel. God had already released a prophetic word over the nation Israel. So no matter what altar eh, that Balaam had built, no matter the sacrifices that he made on that altar, there was no way that God was going to change his word. Concern. That's why he says that the people that are blessed, they cannot be cursed. For I have blessed and I cannot take that blessing back. Every prophetic word, blessing, promise, blessing, promise that God has released over your life. I want you to begin to pray it into fulfillment in the name of Jesus. He says that keep not silent. Give him no rest until he makes you a praise. Come on, lift up your voice and begin to pray. The Father, you said, I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. Father, you said, you will use me all over the nations. Father, you declared that my business will prosper. You declared that none of my children will go wayward. That not evil shall be for me. Neither shall any pestilence come near my dwelling. I stand upon that word. I decree it and I declare that no we are performed of fashion against me shall prosper. Come on, somebody lift up your voice and begin to pray right now. In the name of Jesus. Yakapanda Badabradosa, eleven de Belebre de Badosa, Ecopanda Badosa, Revecos, Fen de Padia Dosa Ravaya. I am more than the conqueror. I am more than the conqueror. I am more than the conqueror in Christ Jesus. You will give your angels charge. Of a meal, they will bear me in their hands. I will not dash my foot against the rock. As you will give your angels charge over me, you will give your angels charge over my family, you will give your angels charge over my children, you will give your angels charge over my ministry, you will give your angels charge over my business. They will bear us up in their hands. We will not dash our foot against the rock, for surely you will deliver me from the snare of the fowler. 
oil and anoint some pestilence. Oh Lord, my God, you will satisfy me. You will satisfy the business. You will satisfy the ministry. You will satisfy my children. You will satisfy my father, my mother. You will satisfy my family with long life. With long life. Man de beko, ah, do the rest. Rafa daba, amen daba. My hands are blessed. My hands are blessed. Whatever I touch will prosper. Ya man de beko doske fe. Revendi mi adu zara. Ah, daba 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 daba. If ne bre ne bre ne daba bre no ze fanta daba na na ya. Levanda bre daba zo fanta daba. If ne zo fanta ma ha. Ye bre no ze fende bele kosha. Ravende bele do ze. Levende makusa. Ravanta Madaba, if an Emado Shaleva, Rakapanda Madabada, if an Abradaz of Alto Levada, Levanta Melabada, Rekapando Bosofa, if an Ebreda Madaba, Ah, Javada Bada Brada Badaba, Ravanta Balabaya, Ravanda Bradabaya, Ravanda Badaba, if an Emele Mendoza, Yakapanda Mariana, Brando Shavanda, Epopaliana, Esso Levenda Bacoya, Ravenda. I am entering into open doors. This year I have found favor before you, God. I have found favor before man. Lebra Corseva, Emelebedos, Ibrecotos Kefende Beleva. You will prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You will anoint my head with oil. My cup will run over. Ah, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Ibrendos Kefandaba, Ravadabadaba, Elebedabadaba. Labradaza, eleven 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 Labradaba, eleven eleven Kapandi, eleven eleven Kadosa, eleven 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 Ifanda Bradaba, Mandaba, eleven eleven Rafa Kosefa, Rafa Ntapa, Ifanda eleven Bradosa, eleven eleven Brakosefa, eleven eleven Koshe. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray a prayer that Holy Ghost, let me experience the kingdom of God. In its glory, lift up your voice and begin to pray. The Holy Ghost, let me experience the kingdom of God and its splendor. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Thy kingdom come, Lord. Let me experience the kingdom. Let me experience the kingdom. In every area of my life, Lord, in my ministry, oh God, let me experience the kingdom. In my finances, let me experience the kingdom. In my children's life, let them experience the kingdom. Oh, man, Ravana Brada Zavanta Nabaya, the Abrado Shaleva, the Vanda Belebra Cosafaya, the Mendeske Fetosa Levaya, Revende Paliadosa Rescifa, Ratosa Fenda, Azuvelo Shaleva, the Valosa Revende, the Copanda Vanada Dosa Leva, the Levende Banana Dusa Reve, the Comana Maha, Adosa Ravanda Ba, the Levende Leva, the Vacosa Fenda Medeha, Alabrada Pacosa. La branda let your will be done in my life. Let your will be done in my marriage. Let your will be done, oh God, concerning my finances. Let your will be done in the life of my children. Let your will be done, oh God, in my spouse's life. Lord, I pray, not my will, but your will. For your word declares that you know the plans you have concerning me. You know the thoughts you have concerning me. They are good and not evil. And it's to bring me to an expected end. Father, I embrace your plan. I embrace your will. Let your will be done, O God. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. I may not understand it, Lord, but let your will be done. It may not make sense. It may not feel good. I may not want to be on that path, but Lord, let your will be done. Let your will be done. I trust you, Lord. Let your 
your will be done. I believe in you. Let your will be done. It's a father. It could be a brand new seven. It's a brand new upon the robot of Bosa. Lament the break it is offended. The brand of a caution. The bread of the Joseph and the Bolova Bosu Fandi be a part. Come on, pray. The Lord, let your will be done. Let your will be done, God. Let your will be done. Let your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. 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 Man, heaven. And I am hearing in my spirit. Give us this day our daily bread. The Bible says that the messes of God, they are new every morning. The Bible says that the messes of God endure it forever. The Bible says that before the throne of grace, we will find what? We will find grace in times of need. The Bible also declares that he will what? He will anoint us with fresh oil. Give us this day our daily bread, our provisions, spiritually and physically. Listen, when Elijah obeyed the voice of the Lord and stayed by the brook, God commanded a raven to come and feed him every day. God commanded the raven. When the people of Israel were walking in obedience in the wilderness, God rained manna from heaven and God provided them with meat every day. Who told you that the Lord is not able to provide your need? God can cause you to have favor before a man. And everything you need will be given to you. Everything you need for that assignment will be given to you. See, the reason why many of us, we are not seeing the provisions of God is because we are failing the test that God takes us through. That is what? It's because we are not found at the location where he positioned us. Two, three, we think we can help God. So we have moved out of his will. We have moved out of his purpose because of the basic necessities of life. He told Elijah, stay there. So whether Elijah was comfortable or not comfortable, whether he was gross hungry or not gross hungry, whether the light was going to be cut off or was not going to be cut off, whether the water was going to be cut off or not going to be cut off, whether the children were being sacked because of school fees or not, I'm not making sense to you. He stayed where the Lord told him to stay. And there was divine provision. Lift up your voice and pray. Give us this day, Lord, our daily bread. Give us this day, Lord, our daily bread. Can somebody pray that prayer? I have expounded on that scripture before. I'm not going to expound it now. But lift up your voice and say, give us this day our daily bread. Can somebody lift up their voice and pray? Holy Ghost! Lead me to the location where God has appointed for me to be. Listen, as I pray, the Lord speaks to me. And you see, Isaac saw the magnificent provisions of God because he was in obedience that is why he says, if you are willing and obedient, then you will eat the good of the land. The, my, my people do not want to obey my words. The, 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 the people of God want to have control over their own life. Am I making sense? Sir? So they neglect the instructions of God. They turn their backs on the only one person that is able to sustain them. So the Bible says that Eve saw that the fruit will make her wise, make her independent. It was tasteful in the eye, so she ate it. Oh, Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to pray right now. Lift up your voice, somebody, and begin to pray. Give us this day our daily bread. And as you are praying, give us this day our daily bread. You are praying that, Lord, order my steps. Order my steps. For the steps of the upright, they are ordered by the Lord. Tell the Lord, order my steps. Order my steps. 
God will have mercy on us, my dear Abner. Give Come on, pray that God order my steps. Oh, see, the Bible says that as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons and daughters of God. I'm going to make sense to you. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. And it's, they, they, see, it is sons and daughters that inherit. Let me repeat it. Sons and daughters are the ones that inherit. Huh. Hello? Sons and daughters are the ones that what? That inherit. How are you being led by the Spirit of God? When was the last time you heard the voice of the Lord speak to you? You woke up from your bed and then you heard the voice of the Lord speaking to you, giving you instructions, telling you what your day entails and what you must do in that day to please the heart of the Father. See, I, I, I was teaching Bible studies and I was telling people that, listen, what we call love uh, in our day is self-centeredness, not love. It is all about me. I, my family, me, I, my family. But the Bible says that your first love must not be yourself. Your first love must be God. Love the Lord with all of your heart, all of your, 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 your soul, all of your mind, all of your strength, all of your substances. That's what the Bible says. Sir. So if God ha, is the center of your life and you understand that scripture says that we were created for his pleasure, then everything that you do in this life is to please the heart of the Father. Lift up your voice and say, Lord, order my steps. Lead me, Holy Ghost. Lead me, Holy Ghost. Lead me. Lead me. In the decision making, lead me. The one that I choose for my husband, not what I feel like is okay for me. Not what I feel like is compatible on my side. Not what I agree with. But Father, what you know is best for me is what I am looking for. Not the job that will pay me more money. Not the job that will make me comfortable. But the job that you know is in line with the purpose you gave to me whilst I was coming on earth. That is what I want. That's why I say, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Pray, somebody pray. That God, order my steps. For this year, I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss it. We have people taking out loans to go build houses. Meanwhile, God promised you a house and he has appointed someone in Europe to bring you money so that you can use that money to be a down payment for a house that God himself wants to give you. And God is going to appoint people to pay for that house for you without you even struggling to do anything. But because we are not able to wait due to our unbelief, we go ahead of God. And we end up in trouble. Order my steps. You said in all of our ways we should acknowledge you and direct our path. So Father, teach me how to raise my children. You created them and you gave them purpose. What must I do so that they will actualize their purpose? At a very young age, that they will come to understand that you God, you are Alpha and Omega. Lord, you gave me that ministry. Show me which way we should go. I am tired of using my mind. I am tired of copycatting what assembly is doing, what Pentecost is doing, what uh, 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 Christ Apostolic is doing. Father, I need to know what you have ordained for this ministry and the path you want us to talk. Listen, open your mouth and pray. Ask God. Oh, Ed, 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 God bless you, Ed. Ah, Ziva Namra Kosa Fele Bedeha. Even the Badu Zereva Kosa de Bedeza. Levranda Bakosa Fendi Mi Apa. In the mighty name of Jesus. Listen. Listen. Anyone on this platform and anyone that is sowing a seed. With all of your giftings, I don't ask for it, but you do it out of your own willingness. 
I am praying for you. See, there's a scripture that says that when you give to a prophet a cup of cold water, you will receive a prophetic reward. My prayer for every one of you connected to this platform, every one of you connected to Facebook, YouTube, connected to, uh, 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 what do you call it, what do you call it, TikTok. My prayer is that this year you will not miss God. This year, you will not miss God. Because you see, sometimes if you don't take time, you will miss God. You will miss God. I said, I'm praying that this year, you will not miss God. You will not miss God. Come on, come on. Say it to yourself. This year, I will not miss God. And I will not miss any good opportunity that God brings my way. I decree, I decree and declare prophetically over your life uh, uh, that you will not fail. You will not fail. You will not fail. You will not die before your time. You will not die before your time. You will not die before. Listen, if by mistake, anyone listening to me, listen, listen. If by mistake, eh, you have contracted any kind of sickness or disease, I pray right now by the blood of Jesus, according to the mercy of God, I release divine healing and I pray over you divine immunity in the mighty name of Jesus. Please say no to war in Congo. I pray in the name of Jesus that even though there is war, God will give you divine immunity and divine promote divine 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 protection as he granted the people of Israel. When they were in Goshen, that the calamities of Egypt will not be your portion. I declare that in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that in the name of Jesus. Now, those of you looking for babies, I want you to put your hands on your womb. If you have a child that is not close to you, I want you to put your hands on the womb. You are going to declare that your womb is blessed. Even if you are not married yet, you will marry one day. Put your hands on your womb. Begin to declare that your womb is blessed. Every seed that will come out of your womb is blessed. Every child that will come out of your womb is favored. Come on, come on. They will never fail because Adonai is their God. Come on, declare. They will be above and not believer. They will be excellent in all they do. Whatever they touch, it will prosper. They will not go away well. They will not go away. What? They will not go away. What? They will influence their friends the positive way. They will become an instrument of evangelism and draw people into the kingdom. I prophesy that Levan de Kosefaya, your lines are blessed. Prophets are coming out of you. Pastors are coming out of you. Apostles are coming out of you. Bank managers are coming out of you. Presidents are coming out of you. I declare it over your life. I speak it forth and I decree it done in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you missed the path in 2024, 2023, 2024, you missed the path. I pray that the wind of the Lord will carry you and position you where God has ordained for you to be. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare you blessed. I declare you favored of the Lord. I declare you prospering. I decree and declare that you will succeed. I pray anyone that is looking for a job, touch your screen if you can't. If you can't, lay your hands either on your belly as a point of contact or you can lift up your hands, whatever the Spirit of God is telling you. I pray and I release jobs in the mighty name of Jesus. A job that will be in your favor. A job that will not take you away from God. And a job that will pay you well to the point of your satisfaction. That you will have more than enough to support the work of the Lord. I decree it and I speak it forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you for tuning in and for joining me today. I believe that your life will never be the same. Tomorrow, God willing, we'll be back at 12 noon to spend time in the presence of Adonai. God bless you and have a wonderful rest of the day. Love you all. Bye-bye.